Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video because it's time to look at what's coming up for the uh, for the next month and after April, which is May. <laughs> I don't know why I said that's so weird. Whatever. So yeah, if you don't know, in the North American version, we are two years ahead. So on the JP side, which is right here, there's a bunch of stuff. I just realized this is the US side. This is in fact the US side. So we're two years behind. So stuff happens here. So that's why we are able to look ahead and see what's going on. Now the funny thing is, is that we actually have a very weird times table in which we are all jumbled due to various reasons, such as us not starting on the same day, so our anniversaries are different. So that makes it so our anniversary is usually earlier than here, which is, I think uh, here it's in August, I think. But for us, it's usually in uh, July, I want to say. Yeah, so it's in July. So keep that in mind. So let's see. How many is it away? One, two, basically two months away from actually, and we might get, eh, no, we'll stay on July 3rd. So yeah, I want to take a look at what's coming up. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, tell me what you got planned going forward, and all that other good stuff. So let's go. So the thing we actually do know is that uh, the Fate Requiem collaboration is going to start on May 6th, which is literally right after the current event, which is the, no, that's not the current event. This is the current event. I, uh, am I crazy? Here it is. Here we go. Well, actually, it's not right after. You have a little bit of a break with the Fate uh, event pre-release campaign, which I don't remember if there's a banner attached to this, but I'm going to assume that there is. Yeah. You can get, um, on Raid Up the Great Statue God, Asuka Behime, Thomas Edison, and Nursery Rhyme. Very weird collection of units, I just realized. <laughs> the Perhaps the weirdest <laughs> combination of units I've ever seen. I'm sure it'll make sense for the actual... Uh, collab itself. It, in general, Freight Requiem is weird. It was always weird when it came out because it, I think it had only been out for like a year. Um, and we know even less here because we don't have any of the books or anything about it, so we have absolutely no idea. But anyway, it's coming up. This is where you're, you can get Voyager and stuff like that. Voyager is the little space probe who has been turned into a uh, boy somehow, and also the giant mama dinosaur. So there you go. In terms of what else to look forward to after that, so you can see here on the original um, Japan timeline, they got Hoshienji, the final Guda Guda, the final Honoji or whatever it's called, at the beginning of May, and then near the end of May they got the board game Apocalypse. But for us, we have to look even further ahead. Las Vegas will probably be coming up. Though funny enough, I think in for us in NA, don't we usually save Las Vegas? Yeah, we do. We usually save the Vegas event for right after anniversary. Uh, I think they've done this almost every year. Let me see. Yeah, they've done it every single year that we've had it, I want to say. Yeah, so we're not getting... We're actually not going to be getting the Las Vegas bout, which would be the thing to get. So chances are they'll hold on to this one. And they'll do interlude campaign. I could definitely see them doing that. Now, if you're wondering how come there's only two things in ju in June, um, the answer is COVID hit. And it hit pretty damn hard. This is the boat, I think, one... Actually, is this the start of COVID? I don't actually remember when... Oh, God, we've been in this for too goddamn long. Um, at some point, it does start to affect things. I don't remember if it's this exact point. Um, but in general, the release schedule for Fago was always weird and slow. But let's look even further ahead of that. Uh, hunting quest we could probably get. If in terms of an actual event, because I don't see them actually just giving us no event after Board Game Apocalypse, what they will probably do is move up the Ukyo and we'll get a rerun of uh, Kama's event. I think that makes kind of the most sense. Because, yeah, like I said, every single year they save um, in July. They like doing summer rerun, then summer but always after anniversary. It's been like that every single year, so I don't see them changing that at any point. Um, as you can see, third year, rerun. Here we go, just again. So, oh, likely we're gonna be holding them back. Actually, we can probably look at this and see for It's May what they did here, because usually this is around the time they get it. So let's go here, go into May, so. Uh, this is the JP side. Yes. 
Actually, no, did, did in Japan? When did Japan get its summer rerun? Huh. Uh, it's definitely before anniversary. Which may be a bad example then <laughs> for what I'm looking for here. Let's go into 2018 and maybe we'll see. So here's when. Okay. There you go. Here. Dead Heat Summer was in June. Let's see. Go back. What happens in June? Third year. Man, things were weird for this year. God. Yeah, that that's weird. Happy third anniversary. Oh, that's right. There was a lot of weird things going on with that third year where they said happy third year on June. And then we didn't actually celebrate it until <laughs> July 6th for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember why. <laughs> that's weird. Huh. Hmm. Could they do here? Yeah, so... This is probably when that actually happened, so... No, we're not in June yet. I have no idea what they could possibly do. Because, again, this year was really... This specific year, 2020, uh, for Fago was really weird. It was really weirdly paced. The fact that there was only two events in June, and then you look forward and see what could possibly get moved up if they're going to be saving it, it's most likely Kama's event, the Ukyo. Or, actually, Seraph... No, Seraph would make the most sense to do the CCC main interlude. I don't think we have that yet. Definitely do that. They would probably save... Would they save this? Would they save the swimsuit stuff? I don't think we would get that move forward. Hmm. Man, I actually don't know how they're going to handle some of this stuff. Bunyan return. Maybe they could bring back Bunyan a little bit earlier. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is a weird year. Uh, we're going to be entering into some really weird territory. Because like I said, there's just like no real... Yeah, see, even here, they're saying this is May. I don't... That's not coming in May. At no point does it seem... Uh, April, May. Yeah, that's not coming in May. That's, there's no way I could see it coming. I know the way they put it because that's supposed to be next, but I don't think that's coming in May. Um, you're going to have to be waiting a real long time. <laughs> so I think it's most likely comma, then CCC, and then you're going to have to wait a very long time for this one. So you're going to have to hold on to that. I wonder if that also means that when the Serpent Coin, not Serpent Coins, the Pity System gets introduced... I'm pretty sure it was for an anniversary, so that means that the previous summer would be actually available for pity then. Huh. Hmm. I guess we wait on seeing that one, but... Like I said, for right now, Fate Requiem, that's the big thing coming up. And then after Requiem, I think it's most likely Ukyo and some of the other side things, and don't expect... Don't expect this in May. I don't. I think that's my current gut feeling. If I'm wrong on that, then hey, I'll gladly do a video and say like, hey, it's weird that it was like this. But to be fair, it's a weird year. It's a very weird year, and it's gonna only be weirder because, like I said, if you think this is weird, get ready for 2021. Actually, I think they were able to do decent. Actually, no. If I remember right, it looks like they kind of did decently, but um, for the people playing it, they were like, no, it was really, really slow. So we'll see. Wow, what? <laughs> they did a summer rerun in May? That's crazy. Anyway, that's it for now. You know what would be really good? They should probably bring back... Because now that we have gaps in our timeline, uh, they should bring back Samba Christmas. That would be a good time to bring it back for NA exclusive. We would get our second rerun of it. And then when JP does it, and it's on the schedule, we'll just get it a third time. Very simple solution, I'd say. Unless they never plan to bring it back. To be, be fair, in Japan, they have two Christmas um, two Christmas events that never got re-ran. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But, anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. It's a weird upcoming month, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be summoning probably a little bit on Fate Requiem. Yeah, I think I am. I like Voyager. He's a cool dude. He's actually very good for quick stuff. This is not the right thing. Why am I being so dumb? This is it, right? No, it's again. Why? Why am I like this? I, <laughs> I literally clicked on it twice and I got fooled twice. Oh, maybe it just links to it both times, maybe. Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
Goodbye.